So the last year's absolutely been crazy. It's been a, a hell of a lot of hard work that everybody's put in, but it's also been kind of miraculous. I think about a year ago, uh, we were coming back from Brazil and it was, it was a very bittersweet tournament where we, we really, really underperformed. Uh, it, the team was kind of in disarray. People were having a lot of interpersonal problems and there was a lot of arguing going on. So I think it's absolutely crazy to look back now and think about that time. Just a few roster swaps, a few changes in mentality, and we saw us winning the six invitational, going forward uh, with Kanto for, with just five days of practice and coming seconds, pretty close to winning the Atlantic City, and then also just coming back from Paris where we've just literally 2 0 everyone. So the team atmosphere is pretty good. Uh, generally it always is coming off of a, a very good season and a, a very good tournament. Uh, the players and I have been together for, well in the majority of the case, we've been together for almost two years now. So there's no conflicts, everything's going just fine. It, it's business and fun at the same time, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and I, in terms of us, doing anything better. I don't need to stress anything. The players, after their short break of a week, already want to get back to scrimming as much as possible. So everything is going well. In terms of all the other teams on the scene, I mean, let's look at Europe first. Uh, the only team that we're maybe a little bit worried about is uh, Vitality and possibly a little bit of a secret. The only thing with Vitality is that they're super, super disciplined when it comes to their time management or their, their patience, let's put it that way. So I think that going forward, once we, we're a lot more confident as a team now, so we're gonna be we're gonna have that discipline to hold the angles against them rather than getting impatient and running into their angle holding at 10 seconds left in the round. Uh, Secret, I think, has dropped off their momentum a little bit, so we're not so worried about them anymore. And then branching out into to the wider scenes, you've got EG that's reformed, that could potentially be a headache in the future, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they do. I think the biggest reason why we love playing in Brazil is the passion of the crowd. Uh, I think in, in Europe and in North America, we're quite polite, and in Brazil, the passion really comes through in its raw form. Uh, another thing to think about in Brazil, it's going to be the biggest stage and the biggest audience that we're going to be playing in front of. I think it's going to be near 13,000 people, so that's going to be an experience in itself and uh, playing within a football arena is going to be just mind-blowing. I think it's going, to, it's going to be knocking something off of everybody's dreams of being an eSports star. Me and G2, the whole squad, are super excited to go back to Brazil, especially to play in Rio de Janeiro. It's going to be absolutely insane in that massive, massive stadium. It's going to be no swear at all, no problem. Looking forward to see the passion from the Brazilian crowd and uh, we're going to perform brilliantly.